Hello there guys, Elite Legionaria here, and today I am going to renew a 2 vs 2, 31k, for Rome Total War. Uh, I am in command of the Brutio Romans, my ally is uh, Heaven's Clan's Coda, he's in command of the Senate. Our opponents are Shemagama of the Heaven Clan, he is in, he's a, um, in command of the Greek cities, and... Kevin claims Muhammad, who is in command of the Julii. So my army consists of 5 Praetorian Cav on Gold Gold, 14 Urban Cohort Gold Gold, and 1 Gold Gold Early Legionary First Cohort. Um, Coda's army consists of, let's see, he's got 4 units of Archer Auxiliary that will be on Gold Attack, and most likely 3 uh, Chevrons, because that works best for Archers. Uh, he's got one unit of Praetorian Cav. I think he's got. He's only got one, yeah. Then he's got one, two, three, and then he's got. Uh, I believe that's. I believe that's uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, but 15 urban cohorts there as well. Uh, I think. I don't think he's got a first cohort. No. Uh, Muhammad's Force, he's got three Archer Auxiliary out here on his right. He's got six Praetorian Cav, then he's got. Early legendary first co, early legendary cohort rather than the first cohort. Sorry, and then he's got ten urban cohorts. Most likely, yeah. That. Um, Shmagma's got. Let's see. One. So he's got twelve, fourteen Spartan hot pies, three armored hot pies, and three Crete archers. Most of it's probably on gold, gold as well. So, in this particular battle, um, oops, still on triple speed. My bad. Uh, in this particular battle, um. You might remember in a couple of my past uploads, um, I said I was perhaps, I said when I was playing that I was um, perhaps too passive and that I was um, kind of doing, following the directions of my allies. And not that that's a bad thing. Um, you should follow your allies' uh, directions and that sort of thing. I'm not saying, saying you shouldn't. But what I'm saying here is, at least for me, sometimes if I, I'm constantly just doing something that my allies want me to do and not kind of being proactive enough on my by myself. I don't often play as well. As well. So in this particular fight, um, I was still working with Coda, very much, um, you know, we're still working together, but I just said to Coda, you know, I'm going to be more aggressive um, and sort of try and create opportunities of my own. So at this point, I just genuinely do better when I do that. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and do in this fight. So I've created like a wing out here on the left, which is generally what I do if I'm, I deploy on the left, or if I was on the right, I'd create it out on the right. Um, so this is a flanking force. Um, there's two reasons for this. Um, is if you can get flanking positions, it can reduce enemy morale. It can also draw their cab into a fight on the flanks. Um, but also, um, it will work particularly well here against Muhammad, because he's only got 10 urban cohorts, while I've got 14 and the first these early legionary cohort. Um, and even though I've removed three here, he's had to remove three as well, which means he's only got seven infantry here, or eight if you include the early legionary cohort, which is not that kind of much of an issue against um, against about nearly twice, basically nearly not quite twice as many, about 12, 11, 12 infantry. So I've got about four infantry units more in the vicinity here, um, which means I got kind of, I'm kind of trying to create like a, a numerical superiority in one vicinity of the field, if you know what I mean. Um, as you can see over here, um, Coda is skirmishing away with these archers here. Um, that's fine. I'm using Peter as well, and as is Muhammad. Um, we're just going to Peter each other up, and I think I start moving into Testudo here once I've thrown all my Peter. Um, and I'll move these guys forward into Loose in a moment. But uh, Coda's just shooting them up here. Um, these two are just kind of keeping each other busy over here, so most of the actions happen here on the flank. Coda initially thought I was being a little reckless. Um, so he thought this area was going to get broken open. Um, but I've got my cab all set up for a counter charge. Um, and counter charges are generally like way, way more effective than um, the initial charge. They usually cause mass cavalry routes. So if you can get a counter charge, um, that's really great. And I was trying to bait um, Muhammad into taking that kind of fight. So I basically destroy this urban with my, well not destroy it, but severely weaken it with um, Pillar Fire. Um, as you can see, because Muhammad is um, more tightly compact here, he's not doing the great deal of damage um, to these guys here. Um, and he's 
taking a lot more losses as a result because these archers are far more spread out and therefore got more cover. So over here, um, I'm going to attack and try and destroy him. Either he'll have to commit and he'll lose these guys, or if he brings his cavalry in, I can then use a counter strike. Or I can put pressure on his infantry this way because I have um, much stronger numerical superiority when it comes to infantry. However, I have I put these. I usually put my wing on guard mode. Um, this is to give them strength to resist a cave charge. But if I got to turn it off, um, so even though they're winning for now, um, they're not doing as well as they probably would be doing otherwise um, because they're on guard mode, um, which I forgot to turn off. But I usually turn it on because when they've got guard mode on, they resist cave charges longer. Um, but as you can see, it's basically pulling Muhammad, bring a lot of troops over here. So in a moment, I'm going to start putting pressure on and bring up some of my infantry here. Because I've got this big central core and Muhammad's got only about half that to resist it. So that should give me the edge uh, in that way. But I think um, Shemagma in a moment will start sending Spartans over. As you can see, some skirmishing going on here between... Um, between them. Although only from Coda, obviously, because those Spartans don't have it. But... Um, as you can see, I'm um, still doing pretty well here. I should have turned the guard mode off. As you can see, I bring these guys and start opening up Peeler. Um, yeah, they're going to go into this uh, early legionary cohort, which is fine. Um, but I've got more guys here, and I can just keep bringing them more in as I need to. But I am hitting guys in the back anyway. Um, and I can just keep bringing guys in as I need to because I've got the numbers. Because my guys are in guard mode, they routed sooner. Um, and I think Muhammad does get a quick cave strike in, but um, I'm just trying to kind of pull away at his flanks here. Um, I charge this unit forward because it's throwing its peeler, um, and I'm, it kind of means he throws some more peeler, which means he'll have no resistance to the huge wave I'm going to send in next. So I send these guys in next. Uh, I still got the big numbers, numerical superiority there, um, which is why Shemagma is, well, sorry about that lag. Shemagma is going to send some Spartans to help him because he will actually eventually lose an infantry fight in this scenario. He does get these guys over here, probably because these archers were getting some fiery flank shots there, and because I forgot to turn guard mode off, but um, it's pulled a lot away from uh, Muhammad's sort of central area and it's thinned out a few of his, his numbers over here so he's lost extra numbers um, and my guys are going to regroup anyway so it's not too drastic to be honest as you can see they're all pretty much regrouping as it is he does tend to cab strike in here just to get rid of this last one um, but that was a pretty it was a pretty even mix to be honest but I can afford the losses and he cannot because he, cause he got those archer units um, and he put up more extra upgrades there um, it means he um, it means he's got less for his infantry. So over here, uh, we can just see that um, that Code is just trying to is just pumping these Spartans full of Peeler and getting a bunch of kills, and he's just using his Testudos to exhaust them and tire them and hold them up. Um, but as you can see, he's uh, Schmagma sent four Spartans to assist um, to assist Muhammad because he honestly he can. He can uh, afford to do that because you know he's still got enough here to hold to fight decently against Coda, but um, Muhammad really needs this to assist him. So, um, but the missile duels well and truly gone Coda's favour simply because Coda deployed his archers much better than the other two. Um, as you can see over here, I think he was trying to get the bit flank of these armoured hoplites, but he quickly disengages here. He got a few kills, but probably not a great trade off there to be honest. Um, I'm not sure if he's throwing all his peeler, he probably has, because there's no peeler screens left really, so, and every Spartan's worth killing with peeler, so, I mean, it, it keeps Shemagma in place, basically, um, I think I'll just speed it up here for a moment, um, as you can see, I'm going to move out onto Muhammad's flank again, Muhammad just gets impatient and rushes me, um, so I just turn on my peeler here, and he's got no peeler screens left, so he's going to take a bunch of losses to peeler, and I've got numerical superiority of infantry in the vicinity, and I can still bring in waves, and I've got my early legionary first cohort boosting morale, um, and I'm going to use some of this little test to do here just to hold these Spartans up if I can, um, as you can see I'm doing alright actually, I'm holding them up on the flank too, um, uh, but I'm just waiting. He's, I'm, I know that he's trying to wait for me to get my cab charge. Um, but if I can get the second cab charge, I should do better. Um, and because um, Coda's got his archers here, he can start flaming and putting arrows down on these Praetorians to reduce their morale as well, which is going to force Muhammad's hand a little bit. So he attacks in waves. He's trying to bait me to bring all my cab in. Um, but I'll bring some cab in to counter this, but only just not all of them. 
I'll probably put three of them in just to make sure I'd win. Then he sends the rest of his cavalry in. Then I'm going to send the rest of my cavalry in to get that counter. So I get in here, and a cool thing too here is code is going to come from the flank, which is going to help. But I'm bringing in the rest so that I do get the final charge. And because code had come from the flank and with flaming arrows, um, we're going to start taking the edge in this particular fight. And because I still got guys in the back here, I had some peeler I was able to throw in as well. Um, it's going to allow us to take the edge. Um, over here, as you can see, the fight's still just getting hold, held up. Um, I start pouring some more infantry in at this stage just to cover any bits that are weakened by that, and I disengage my cavalry with pretty minimal losses there. Same for Muhammad, but um, Muhammad probably lost more than I did. Um, oh, probably about even, maybe slightly in my favour there. But he goes in again, this time he goes in utterly, and I've still got some reserves, and I'm going to pull them in last. Now, a bit, okay, he's going to route. Um, one or two of my guys here, but you watch what comes as I come in here with all my guys on the counter charge, and his general's right there. And as you can see, um, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, and the whole his whole cavalry horde just routes. So that counter cash charge, and this won't always happen, but generally it does happen this way, um, and enables me to completely destroy. Um, Coders for six, and I could afford to be a little more careless in my infantry because I had superior numbers because he went with those archers, um, and because um, Coder did so well with his and deployed his better, it didn't work well for them. So over here, you can see uh, Coder and Shemagam are fighting. Um, Coder's getting kind of several positions where he's actually kind of getting onto the flanks of the Spartans. Where he's not getting onto the flanks of the Spartans, the Spartans are holding fine, but where he is, the Spartans are getting knocked down steadily. Um, but at this stage, um, I'm able to pour my infantry in here. Um, I've disengaged my cavalry. Um, this unit here got stuck and it got a bit glitchy. It wouldn't get out. It took me a few several tries to get it to come out. Um, some of my guys are regrouped out here. Some of that routed, and I'm going to bring these guys over here and get onto his flank. Um, I'm sending. Got still got good numbers in my cavalry just because I got superior charge. Um, and I'm going to pour in here into the flank and assist. Um, don't know if I noticed this unit had come back. Uh, I'm going to regroup some of these units here in a moment, and I'm looking for an area in the Spartan lines, like preferably this area here, where they're pinned, and if they turn, they won't turn around as easily because they'll get you know, fully tapped in the flank. Um, I saw that this little group of little urbans in the centre here, where there's no Spartan supporting them, so I give a quick cab charge in here, and I route one of them there, um, and I'm basically encircling what's left of these Spartans here. Um, I did this here, which wasn't great. Um, and I don't stay in that, I don't think. Um, I didn't get much of a charge, so I just I turn around and run away. But over here, where the Spartans are fixed, um, I get a good charge into the flank of them here. Um, and that routes this one, uh, this weakened one in the front. And I think it yeah, gets two of them as well. I guess this one at 59, so that was a good number, little, little number of Spartans. And that's going to allow Coda to start breaking into the centre and then wrap around the two flanks there. Rabbits running from our um, as you can see, I've got my opponent's hoplites and Spartans um, pretty cleaned out at this stage, and there's flaming arrow support. I didn't time this strike very well. Um, Schmagma turns around, and I think he gets um, some of them. Yeah, he got some of them there, but it wasn't actually that drastic. At this stage, I target this area here where they're completely encircled, because I know if I get a wedge charge here, it should route them. Um, the and now he's made and uh, that routes that Spartan as well. Um, and I'm just wrapping around over here and finishing off the remainder of Shemagma's forces here. And as you can see, they all kind of just break right up the centre of um, the, the centre there of Shemagma's forces. And then the rest of his Spartans on the flanks start to break as well. Um, so I was kind of more pleased with this battle than some of the other ones I had done prior to this one because I was just a little more aggressive and fighting into my style. I think it's very important. Um, I'm not saying you should neglect teamwork or you know listen to your teammates because that's definitely something I absolutely think everyone should do. But it's just by playing your style as much as you can while working with your teammates, you can generally get better. Sometimes your teammates kind of... The things they suggest are really... Um, how do I put it without making it sound like it's mean, but it's kind of against your style. Um, and when they do that, it can sometimes affect how well you play. I'm not saying that the players I'd play with had really done that. It's just, um, I'd, they'd say, hold the attack, don't do this, don't do that. And I'm an aggressive player, and sometimes if I start holding my attack too long, I start kind of getting slow and not playing as well as I could. Um, so I wanted to try and get as aggressive as I could in this fight and fight my style. But also, I was definitely listening to Coda um, and... The result was pretty good, I felt. Um, 
I had 1,376 kills, he had 1,239. We it's his average victory, but I felt we were fairly decisive, to be honest. Um, 1,041 for Shemagrin, 808 for Muhammad. Uh, big kills, as you see, my cavalry got very good kills because those counter charges, um, all of them getting up over 70 there, and some, many of them getting close to 100. That's pretty good for 31k. It's actually very good for 31k, um, especially for me. Um, it's very important... Um, in my opinion, that you get the try and get the counter charge. Once the enemy cab is sort of stuck in charge, and then charge them before they can get out, because usually you can mass route them that way, um, like I did. And not always going to happen, but generally speaking, I find it works. Um, and I always try and go for it where I can. So, um, but good game, good game to Coda, Shemagma, and Muhammad. Coda's got his channel, of course. Um, so I'm going to link that in the description. I'm sure he'll appreciate you going and viewing it. Some nice 31 Ks there. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon next time.